Hey guys, I got a comment on another video that I did asking about the chokes for this shotgun. So I just wanted to give a quick video overlook of uh, the chokes and the differences in them, how you can tell the differences and what you will use those different chokes for. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, all your chokes are gonna come in a little carry case like this. There will be four and a wrench. Um, I believe some came with five, but mine happened to come with four. Uh, you'll have your choke wrench and all your different chokes. So we'll go ahead and get started. Here is your choke tube. And if you look closely here, you see this little notch. This one has one notch. So that's gonna be a full choke. And you would use this for ducks, geese, or uh, longer range shots with lead shot. Um, another thing you need to keep in mind too is uh, before shooting steel shot or tungsten, anything like that, you want to make sure that your choke is approved for that. So these uh, look like they're only uh, really rated for lead shot, not steel or tungsten, anything along those lines. So I would not recommend shooting steel or tungsten shot out of these chokes. Okay, so one notch is going to be a full choke. That's for ducks, geese, longer range shooting. Got one here, this one has two notches, as you can see. See the little notches here by my phone? There you go. It's got two notches. This would be the improved modified choke. This one is gonna be good for say grouse, maybe rabbits, pheasants, 35 to 40 yard shooting with lead shot. Up next, we have our three notch choke. So you got three little notches there. Um, this would be good for pheasant, quail, um, just kind of any kind of, um, you know, upland birds, about 35, 30 to 35 yards shooting. Um, gives you a nice wider pattern. Um, you can shoot steel out of this one. According to the owner's manual, it does say you can shoot steel out of this. And... Our last one will be the improved cylinder. Now, the improved cylinder choke has four notches in it. Your improved cylinder choke is a good all-around choke. It's great for quail, doves, target shooting, um, more open field shooting like skeet. Uh, this is gonna be a shorter range choke. And why I say that about each different choke is because um, as you go up in notches, it is a looser bore. So it's not going to tighten up the pattern as much. It's not going to carry it out as far. Um, so this would be a great choke to shoot slugs or buckshot out of, uh, maybe home defense, uh, closer range shooting, just a good all around choke that will accept just about any shot. And then you have your choke tube wrench that comes with it. And we'll just take a choke, for example. And you can see that these little notches here, the cross notches, it locks in there. And I'll show you how you would install and remove a choke now. I added this photo here at the end, just so that you could have a diagram of what each choke is, the same way I explained. This is from the owner's manual as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you all now how you go ahead and remove and replace your choke tube. Um, you're going to take your supplied choke wrench and you're going to drop it in here. Make sure that you get it down into the grooves in your tube. See the little cross grooves? You'll drop it in and you'll just break it free like so. Spin it all the way out. I put a little bit of oil on my threads to keep it from binding up. Once you get it out far enough, you can spin it with your fingers. Choke tubes out. When you go to put it back in, you can just spin it back in with your fingers. Just threads in, get it in as far as you can. Take your wrench and just Go right on down with it until it's seated. And then when you 
you get down there, you just give it a little snug, and you're good to go. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. And that's all I got. So that's how you pick a choke tube, and that's what each one is used for, for different purposes and different types of shot and hunting and uh, target shooting. Um, but if you have any other questions, drop me a comment, and I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.